So this took a lot of time to actually figure and set everything up, but I hope it's working and you can actually hear me. Hopefully someone can uh, say that they can actually hear me. So today's plan, there is no plan actually. <laughs> I just wanted to, I don't know, probably do something random um, or just chat or I don't know, didn't really thought about. Um, but let's just say that that my microphone is working as it's supposed to, or maybe I can end the stream and try again. Um, but would be really nice if anyone can give me a uh, feedback if my microphone is working, because I did have uh, issues with it. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's see here if this is actually working. Hopefully it is. Anyhow, if there is no sound, just let me know. And uh, I will just, I don't know, continue on uh, whatever I thought I'm going to do today. But uh, it took me way too long to set this thing up. Anyway, I have a music in the background. Hopefully that's not a problem. Mm, trying to think where to put my headset, but there isn't any, any really nice way. Let me see. Maybe here and hopefully you can still hear me. Oh man, today was just bonkers. My squeaky chair. And uh, me are going to just show you what I have here. I was working on this. I don't know. Um, when was that? Last month, probably. I don't know. But I uh, just was playing with some napkins and stuff. So I made this little thing from fabric. These are curtains, some sort. I think are my brother's curtains um, from, I don't know, when he was a uh, a baby or something so I haven't put any signatures in but I might um, because I think this could be really nice junk journal so a little bit of writing spot this is another really old um, front cover I just used some stickers and created this this uh, was a ribbon that my friend gifted um, and two pictures in here. Yep, I think, I think it's really nice. So I just need to put some uh, signatures in. I think I'll probably do one signature. And it's going to be ready, like a really small, cute um, drink journal. And this is just curtain, another curtain on a curtain that I use for a string. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking I could uh, try to... I have piles of um, magazine pages that I tore out and advertisements and stuff. I was trying to figure out a way to um, make them more organized, uh, but I quite didn't um, didn't have time to do that. So... This is just a little bit, oh wait, one more, just a little tiny thing. And I do usually put them in categories or in a, you know, sleeve, some something thingy. Um, but for most of them, um, like bigger pictures like this, I wanted to create some ATC cards. So I'm thinking what to do today. 
Hmm. And this would be another ADC card. Maybe I could just do ADC cards. What about that? A lot of fruit. Oh my gosh. So much in here. As you can see, I collect a lot of stuff. Uh, let me see. Let me see what I can do today. Another pile of junk. Oh, this one's really nice. And this can be a page in some vintage junk journal. I think you can see. Um, I'll just shuffle a little bit and then decide what I'm going to do. Um, like image like this, I know I want to put it into my yellow junk journal that I'm making. Um, and I do have a heaps of yellow. Maybe I could do something yellow today. Ooh, this one too. Love this one. <laughs> Let's see if I can do yellow. Ooh, this one. This one is just yellow advertisement that uh, is printed on. Yeah, I'm printing on junk too. <laughs> So let's see, let's see. Maybe I can use this top, I don't know. Just gonna shuffle a lot of Christmas stuff in here. Um, I save these just because I want to make a journaling card or something out of it and I really like the, like the top. So what I actually do is just cover what I don't want to have on my journaling card. Uh, maybe I have some of the, let me see. I think I made some um, from one of the pages. Let me just gather things so I can show you. This one and this one and let me see this one. thought I had more. I guess not. But anyway. Um, 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 yeah. So let me see. Ah, yeah, I do have more. I knew it. So I actually took one one pink page from a advertisement. Let's say I want to show you a comparison or something. Let's say something like this and had really nice pictures. Like this one is Christmassy. And what I did is let me put this aside so you can see a little bit better. And this is really bulky. Not even sure I'm gonna deal with all of that, but you know, made some journaling cards and took parts of that page. I think I'm gonna keep this special, um, whatever this means, um, and uh, or just cover it with a sticker or something. This was the lady on that same page, and I covered the top with some white scrap and some flowers same page so not sure how this was arranged and I took the back of the page as well because I had some scraps left over and the front wasn't really nice anymore this one I think it was um, missing it was too short so I decided I'm just going to put um, same background from the page and just a little bit of uh, a scrap there to fill the gap and another scrap in the bottom on the bottom and this one uh before gluing i stitched it on the paper and i think it looks really nice if i would do this one again i would probably stitch it here and up top but i i can still do that though um yeah so just you know covering the pieces that you don't want to have on your project and keeping the ones that you do want to have on on your project because you could never say this was from advertisement well, this one, the big one, yes. So, and um, yeah. So if you wanted to keep the block from this, like a yellow stuff, you could just cover this part with some paper or anything and have this little guy, or I think it's a guy, and, you know, cover the, the, the bottom. 
so you're not limited to do whatever you want with, you know, advertisements because I'm really, <laughs> I'm really using a lot of advertisements in uh, this kind of way. So for these cards, I'll just um, finish the backside with some writing paper or something. And then um, probably I'm going to stitch all around because I really like to have everything stitched for some reason. And uh, let me show you the yellow bucket. Let's see. Hopefully there isn't any anything that it's supposed to not be there. Let me just put the yellow bucket on. Okay. This is a scrapbook paper that I took. I don't know. I found it um, just like this, and I just wanted to include it. But it's overflowing, like... Possibly you can see it's overflowing. It's too much. And I have a lot of yellow stuff. And, you know, I can just go through and then decide what I'm going to use. And I definitely want to just have these as they are. This is from the post office, like Slovenian post office. I'm not even sure if you can actually see this the correct way. Oh, no. The text is turned in the other direction. Either way, my grandmother's writing. Really, really old ticket from 1987. I think this was my grandmother's as well. So, basically, let me see. I would just like to do something. Maybe we can do this. And I do have some more scrapbook paper that um, I just took out of the books, books that I had. Um, I still have a few to go through and just keep them. Um, I think I'm going to reorganize them in the boxes by color and stuff. I think I want to use that one too. And let's make one more. This one. This one is just yummy. Can you see this page? Regular advertisement. Really yummy. Okay, I have my three things. This is enough for now, so I'm going to put this one aside, and I'll try to do something with this. I don't know, it kind of makes sense for me lately that I'm doing stuff to make stuff like by color and to not feel really, um, you know, I don't even know how to say, just it's too much when everything is all together. I just kind of way better when it's one color or one theme. Uh, maybe that's just me or I don't know. Um, let me get some cards. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, organizing stuff and stuff. I have these. Um, these are some cards. I do have these in my Etsy, but still uh i have so many that i just want to get rid of and want to use them so maybe i'm gonna use something like this these are kind of good make some journaling spots and what what else okay let's take two of these and i do have some postcards as well so if i have some Some nice ones. Maybe I can pop another stamp up here and just keep it as it is. It's really nice. And put some yellow background. Yes. I'll just do something. I'm not sure how the battery is on this thingy, but anyway, I have nothing here. I have zero glue, zero anything. I need some glue stick and what else? Some watercolors, maybe. Um, let me see. Some watercolors. I do have. Yep. These things. And one more thing is my water. And I think I need some scissors. Yeah. 
Okay, everything here. Oh, I'm sorry that the, the camera is turned upside. Oh, like you can't read anything or maybe you can, I don't know. Hello, Janet, hey. Oh, so hard to, to read this, it's so small. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Hello, Dee. Yeah, it's really good to actually use up what we have. And if you don't have anything, you can make, you know, anything you want with just a, one set of acrylics and a little bit of, you know, a brush. And that's it. One set of stamps if you have them. Um, I was thinking maybe I could transform this into, I kind of want to keep this. Just gonna glue it down on this and try to figure out what I wanna put on top of it. Let's do it. I know it has really nice edge as well. Do I have something else? You know, there's so many things that I do have that I did make, but um, you know, this is a user manual in all of the languages you can imagine. And um, I could use something like this as the part of it. La la la. Okay, I'll stop it. I'll just use this. And I think I'm going to stitch all around as well. Just not sure how I'm gonna keep on this nice trim. Like so. I'm gonna do this bottom part. I don't want to cover the um, this writing. Um, just wanted to keep it original and try to find a stamp, or we can make a stamp, right? It doesn't really need to be a a real stamp, it can be a faux stamp. And I do have a bunch of faux stamps as well. I was trying to make a video about stamps, um, but I just, ah, oh, man, I don't have luck with, uh, with my camera. Um, you know what? Hmm. I don't know where my scissors are. Maybe I can check it out. Um, maybe I can use, I don't know. If I cannot find any scissors, then I'll guess I'll probably just cut with regular straight thing. I think I have them somewhere else. Well. <coughs> this. A little bit more, like so. Maybe I do have some faux stamps somewhere here. Or, you know, since we're doing stuff, we can just make some. Um, let's see. I do have a box full of full stamps. Let me show you. So, ooh, I really like this one. This is a real, um, that side of the stamp. Or, where is it? This could go here, why not? Let me see if I have something more. Uh, 
my bow stamps. Here they are. Not sure if they are labeled with anything or anything. These are just blanks that I made. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. Let's see. This green one would come here. Kind of covers the thingy. I don't think I have any smaller one. These are regular sizes. Maybe I'll have to use this one. Make it a little bit more seen. This is the one that has uh, glue on the back if you use a little bit of water. Just going to put it here. I can find a stamp and go over it with the line or whatever. But I just, uh, losing stamps. I think this is just fine. And. I think I want to make a nicer corners. Yeah, I do use my phone for videos, but um, not much luck lately to edit videos. I guess, I don't know. Bunch of stuff that I need to repeat and it just, it's, it's dragging me. <laughs> But I guess eventually I'm going to make it, so. Ooh, this looks really, really nice. Okay, stamps aside. What can I put on the front? I do have some more stamps that I did make for the video and stuff. So maybe I can show you. These are the frames from actual stamps, um, the sticky stamps that um, I save whenever I post something. Um, I save all the frames, so I made a bunch of, bunch of them. Hopefully you can see good. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I will, will try to really make the tutorial so anyone can make them. So you can actually see how they're made. Um, I'm going to put these in. These are really great for small scraps and small images because in catalogs and stuff like that, there is plenty of those. I'm going to go here and I wanted to use some image or something on the front. Um, what can I find? Like I don't have enough magazines all around, right? I have a pile of magazines right next to me. It's like a basket or however you want to call it. And I have this um, really old uh, magazines inside that are actually, you know, that catalog that they send you so you can order stuff, a bunch of stuff. Um, I think this is from, I don't know, 1999, 2000, I don't even know. But trying to find an image like this one's really, really nice. And the ducks, love it. That would go with my postcard. And I think I'm just going to fussy cut it out and uh, glue it down. So, um, like these really old phones. Do you remember those times? Um, 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 um. I like a lot of images here. Oh, I love this one. Can we have this one? Like a set of... Uh... I think I have this set somewhere at home. Let me see if I can get this one out. Even this two cups, perfectly fine. Wanted to some... Like, this one is on yellow as well, so maybe I need a smaller scissors. Tiny scissors. If I can find anything, got them. So let's see. 
Maybe I can keep this as well. I'm not sure if you can actually see this good or not. Okay, let me just take this one out. Is the music too loud? I'm always wondering because um, I can never tell when I'm not watching my stream with the music on. I think my mom bought this kind of set. I just can't remember if it was this one or something similar. It was a very long time ago. My mom loves um, all the ceramics and stuff like that. And old things. And I think I will try to get a, I don't know, a um, nice saying for this. How are you, are you guys doing? I know I'm not um, looking at the chat, but... Oh, thank you, Janet. Thank you. Sometimes I have a feeling I'm off camera as well. But you know, like this. Maybe I'll take this one. Like I hadn't have any plans today, so I was just thinking what to do and if I want to try my phone to go live. And uh, it took me about, what, an hour to set everything up because it was failing and the Google account didn't want to log in. It just, I don't know what's wrong with that. So everything was manual. I had to do everything manual, so... Not something I really like anymore, I guess. This, this, I think it looks nice. And maybe I need some, something darker. I'll take this one too. So yeah, I have yellow journal in the making. It's like, I do have a cover, but it's not finished and I do have some pages for it, uh, but nothing is finished yet. I'm looking where to set this up, if anywhere. How does that look at all? It's kind of hard to see, I think, when I have it um, down on my table. Hello, Malia. Welcome. Um, let me think. Do I have some stuff to put in the background? Do I? Oh man, I have so much, so much that it's just uh, a bit too much. Just try to do whatever I have here because I'm gonna get overwhelmed. If I don't, and just, you know, um, putting all the things in with the same color helped me a lot. So, says Porcelana. Everything from porcelain, um, good saying. I think I'm missing something, like something darker in the background. Let me think. How are you doing, Malia? Um, let me see. I don't know. I want something darker there. I guess. What if I <clears throat> just make it a little bit darker? Something 
like so. And this one. Not sure where I, where I want to put the board. Um, I have some random doodads and stuff that maybe I can incorporate into this thingy. Um, words and stickers. Okay, let's see. Or I'm gonna just shuffle through this because I need something there, but I don't know what. These are some doodads that I made. Um, maybe. I don't even know what these are. Can you see that? I just random stuff. I think I'm just going to go with what I have there. Looks fine to me. I need uh, something to glue on. Okay, got it. This is a painted, I think I used watercolors. Um, and I just painted some newspaper. One side was a little bit more blank. And how do you want to be like here or like this? And then I uh, doodled on it. It's like really thin piece of paper, which I really like. Ah. This is going to fill the corner like this. And then so I don't even know what I was saying. But um yeah, making some of those uh doodle thingies. I think I made a video about it as well, but it was probably a long time ago. I found like few bags just of this kind of catalogs where, um, you know, selling catalogs. So this is going to be like forever thing, you know, uh, I wanted to do it like this and, um, how do you want to put it? I think he wants to go somewhere like here. I don't know. Twiddling too much. It can go here. It's already there. Uh, this one. Um, this one is different perspective, but you can keep it there. And a tiny little one. I noticed that I'm making way too many things. Like so many painted papers. So many this and that. And hoarding it. And not using it. Which is a bad thing. And then whenever I want to use something. I'm like oh no I'm going to save this. I'm going to save that. And then uh, I don't use them at all. Just go there and be happy there. And this one probably took me like, what, half an hour to make this. <sighs> oh. I could back this up. Like so. Hey, 
Peace, Nova. Hi. How are you doing? Like so. So it's like a real thing with uh, doodles, and I really like that. I need a little bit more of black. Okay. And so this one's ready. Next, thinking how to use up this one. Um, maybe if I put it in the middle, can't see the banana. So either it's gonna be a uh, page in a journal, and I can just paint, paint this one, and I can probably use it that way. Okay, I'll save this. Let's see what else. These. I wanted to do something with these. This kind of packaging. Um, I think my mom gave me a bunch of this kind of packaging from, what is that? English, no English, German. Uh, from the flowers. And... Uh, Make something. Like there is a lot of things. Just you know, if if you you just look around and okay, I'm gonna use this one. Um, let's see. How would you like to be cut? I think I want to put something on the bottom now. Let me think. Yellow paper. I want to do more yellow. Maybe some book page as well. Is this too yellow? Maybe I can use some washi as well, but I'll try this. And uh, I think I want to put um, stitching on this side. I can. It's a uh, um, glued another piece of the card cardboard on it when the cardboard goes together. But I do have something to put for the background. So. spot pocket thingy even though this um, thingy here is uh, I think I'm gonna put a seal tape over it a little bit more and this side so I decided I'm gonna just leave it as it is I really don't need to do much to it, but I will, um, let me think. I will take a something and, uh, like a thinner marker and, uh, something else that I don't know where it is. And I'll just make some doodles, like a faux stitching. So I guess I'm not going to stitch this one. I do have my machine right here, but 
think like uh, need to plug it in and all that and you can see it on screen as well but I mean I know mm. I'm thinking if I should do it all around It doesn't write. Come on. You're a new one. Right. Uh, it's an alcohol marker, so I know it's going to stay there. But it's a bit glossy packaging. Yep, looks way better. Otherwise, I would just stitch it all around and that would be it. Like so. Yep. I'm going to, I have this thing. Maybe you can see um, a little bit of the cutout. I will try to put something uh, on the back so it's not going to be so, um, I'm worried maybe something could stuck, could get stuck or something. Um, I had a, this piece of paper. So like really, really, um, thin piece of paper to cover this so nothing can get stuck and this is gonna just be glued down and I could put a word or something here words 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 let me see this is just <laughs> small tiny bin container whatever you want to call it bloom and grow Ooh, I really like that This one has more white to it. I use this one. So random pieces of uh, a book page that actually have some uh, empty spots, and I like to stamp them or write words on. Um, hmm, maybe a little bit of this nice black. So the journal is going to be yellow, like for now, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like um, bee themed or uh, just yellow one. Glue stick on my thingy here. So. You are done. Still don't know if the image is upside, like flipped or not. But, um, two things done. Let's continue. I have to put it somewhere else because it's going to get lost in this mess. So I do have two more, but I kind of think I could make a pocket like a page hugger pocket from this so I'd put a page like this on a journal and I would stitch down here hmm and it would be a really nice tuck spot with this cardboard I'm just trying to think if I would put something else here or not I'll think about it while cutting Hmm. I did have some, you know, the things that don't go in that <laughs> little tiny drawer. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Are in here, like everything, everything, <laughs> everything else that I can fit in that drawer. 
Yeah, crazy. I have what? I wanted to find. I'm not sure I want to put this here. This is from a, the butter packaging. Oh my god. Seriously? Yes. Um. I wanted to find um, something different color. Maybe something that is, isn't yellow? I'm putting everything yellow now. I'll find something, probably. Ooh. I have this. I could probably use this down here. Just need to take it apart. Somehow. I guess. God. They really glued this down good. Small bag. Um, here. Take this off. Trying to be gentle. Mm. I think I'm gonna keep that too. Because <laughs> they're really sturdy, so I can glue it somewhere else if I wanted to. Slowly. Slowly. Yay! I will, um, I will not have any glue. I'm just going to glue it like this and cut all around and maybe do the same on the top. But I'll need glue up here. Hmm. Or maybe I can just cut the top. I don't know. Let's do the, the bottom first and then I'll decide. Since I do have, oh, give me a sec. Since I do have some of the washi, I will probably use this one up here. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not a fan of yellow, but lately I really like li yellow. Like, I don't know, something must changed in me or something. I don't know. But it's good, you know. I, I never liked red, but I do like it now. Or maybe because I was um, cleaning and reorganizing. So uh, maybe that's why. Blue stick. Need some space. Um, this is not really straight, is it? Maybe I'll put a uh, washi tape over the, the line. Um, that looks nice. I can turn it around. Now I'm thinking maybe I should use another color. I'm looking on the screen how it looks like. Um, this 
is more not so green. I'll check for the green as well if I can use green and it's gonna be a bit better. Maybe it's gonna have a different hue on the background. What the heck, just gonna go with it. I think it looks nice. And the top, um, I wanted to do what, really? The bag on the top as well. Not sure how good of the tape is, but maybe I'll have to re-glue. Um, come on. Much better. Oh, I have to cut the bottom off too. I really love this cutter. This is the best thing I could get ever. Yup. Okay, um, top, top, top. You wanna be yellow, you wanna be brown. What do you want? What do you want? I mean, I don't mind if you're yellow. And I don't mind if you're brown. Let's just do it brown. Something like this. It's going to be really, really nice. Pocket. Probably not straight, but um, with this, it's going to look just fine. Um, something like so. And let's cut. And here. And I need to put some... I had a really... Tired, where is it? That paper. Can't find it. Well, you know. I'll take another piece of this. Problem solved. Not sure if it's going to, um, you know on this or not but in case it does I'd rather have this on okay so this is the pocket and this is not good this is not dry yet I think this one yes I'm going to stitch I'm going to stitch it So, I'll have to wait to dry because I want to, or maybe I can already do the sides. Oh, you know, this could be a book as well, like a booklet type thingy. 
but I think it's going to be just nice in a, in a journal as a pocket. Um, thinking to actually stitch this one up. I want to cover this. And this is not dry yet. We can still move it. Um, I'll just glue this paper down. Oh, I do have that one. This one. This one. Yeah. So if the pocket is outside or floating or something, I can just, uh, you know, you don't see this writing here. Um, nope. I think I'm going to use this side. And then I'll have to wait to, for this to dry. so late with the reading chat um yeah i do get i just concentrate on what i'm doing um like all the time <laughs> okay and i'll take the top off i think i just uh, might put my machine on so I can um, all save this so I can stitch this up. Okay. Let's see if this is going to go as uh, as I thought. Way too many things here. Oh, wow. Just got distracted by this. <laughs> Seriously, Emma? Yeah. This is so cute. Uh, um, I was thinking to make a like kids journal as well, because um, I have a lot of things. Oh, so cute. Oh, this is the right one for this month that it's coming. Um, let me do the machine that I wanted to. And let me plug it in, like so. I think this is dry. I do have yellow inside, that's good. I mean, it's a bottom one. So in the meantime, you can just look at these. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to do it really quick. So, um, I wanted to make a floating pocket, right? And I wanted to stitch on the bottom, right? Yes. But I'm thinking I wanna stitch all around as well. So I'll do that. It's gonna take like a few some time. And I think this is not dry yet because of the fold and it's yeah, it's gonna be fine. Where's my panel? Okay, it's here. Let's just stitch this baby up. Um One more.
guess it would be better if I would have one camera on this, but okay. Not done yet, but um, I did, I, I stitched um, down here as well on the fold. And now I'm going to do another thing here. And then I'm going to stitch in, um, on the bottom. Yeah. I have like 30 more of this kind of packaging anyways. <laughs> so. And almost there. Not sure how the machine is, if it's very noisy or not. I need to crease it a little bit more. Go away. So it's really flat. I could do a Nah, it's fine. Regular stitch. And I'd be just fine. It is really thick, but my machine is fine with it for now. Okay, you are ready. I love it, it's pretty nice. pocket on the other side. I look, they look really nice. Okay, what else? I think I can do two more things. Let me check the battery just in case. I don't want to go blip. Okay, yeah, two more things. Um, this vintage cards, like, I want to do something with them. Do I? This one is like ready. It's yellow. So it's ready. I can just put something in the background. Um, I need to move my machine so I can get a paper that I can cover the back. So um, I'm collecting. Collecting. That's like. <laughs> I saved all the pieces that um, my grandmother used, like a white page, whatever. Something that it's one-sided and, you know, this side is written and the other side is blank. And I used some of the coffee dyed um, solution uh, just in my spritz bottle. And spritzed them and then I had a pile of this kind of papers <laughs> and I just went to my machine and stitched them all together without gluing or anything um so i made long sheet of paper and uh, i'm cutting it down and you know a uh, great way for just backing stuff up and even with writing with because of the coffee dyeing you can't really see much uh, at all so um i'm not bothered if you know, it's stitched. I think it looks really nice. And if you have different col colors of paper, that's even better. I need something for my background. So let me just use this. Why not? And this is going to be one of the journaling cards. I think I have another journaling spot somewhere that I want to show you. Where do you want to be? Up here? Just here? Okay. Here. 
I mean, there's so many things you can do with just junk. Just, just junk. Not even thinking about anything other that you buy in the store, or, you know. Um, my squeaky chair. Come on, squeaky chair. I made that thingy a few days ago. I don't think it's straight or anything, but um, that was the same advertisement I finished a few days ago. That was this same advertisement that I was showing um, at the beginning of the stream. And I did use just to cover the stuff underneath. And uh, I put some papers on the back so we can write on. So I thought this was a really good way to use those, um, you know, those freaking notes we, we all have, um, like a small, tiny thingy. So that's going to go in some journal, I guess, someday. And uh, let's finish this one up. So when I cut stuff out, I would just keep this and I would um, sew another thing on it and another and another and made a chain out of uh, papers. And then I would uh, stitch that chain of papers onto another chain of papers and <laughs> bunkers, right? <laughs> and you would have a lot of paper. I do have a lot of paper. Just not sure what I'm going to do with all of it. A bit too much. Okay, I need you to cut some corners. I love cutting corners. And I will put a word on this or something because I need to use more words. That's another thing that I don't do anymore. Like, this is, I have way too much, just <laughs> believe me. Um, these are some cuts. And I'll try to find something that it's, that it's what color? Nice color. I love this saying. I don't know if you can see it. Spend your life doing strange things with weird people. And... Bloom and grow. Well, you know, I could use that too again. Random stuff. At some point, I tried to um, turn the sayings on the right direction. Um, let me see if some of the browns here. The more vintage ones. Grateful. Cherish, hope, kind of like hope. I need to make more um, words like these. They are really, really nice. Hoarding them, that's why I keep, I still have them. But, you know, that's the only reason. Where do you want to go? Are you too short? Sorry. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Why not? I need something bigger. So I'll take this one. And maybe Hope can go somewhere else. Spend your life. Doing strange things with weird people. This and this one. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Seriously? I don't know the number. I'm not going to pick up. I usually don't. If it's a weird number or anything like that. I think I want to use something else with this. Something weird. Hmm. Just need to get it. Just need to fetch. Um, I think I want to use some fabric, like a weird fabric. Um, Stay right back. I have some weird stuff here. Um, trying to find something else as well. But I guess I put it away somewhere else. So just got an idea um, because it's like, uh, you know, I have so much of it and uh, wanted to use maybe you would not sock i just washed them yesterday i found them uh, in a big bag um probably from my mom or even me i i have a lot of them and uh, i want to use this sock in a way that i did in on my prototype this is my prototype that i wanted to make a video about it but you know i'm so slow with making videos so Hopefully you can see that. This little guy um, is a, from a comic book, like a really vintage comic book. And I used that as a, you know, something like this. So these are basically pockets, what these are. You can put stuff in. But um, when I was seeing these words, I knew that I did that before and like, I wanted to do it again, so. I'm doing that again. And maybe I could use this. I think it's just going to be fine. So I will take this off. I usually save these because they're really good elastic. So uh, my hair really love that. Uh, that kind of elastic. You know, why not? So sock elastic. Like really soft elastic, and this one I'm going to take apart in let's see, sure, like a centimeter, I guess centimeter. And when the where the where I didn't cut really nicely, I can just pull a little bit, and it's gonna curl on its own. And I'll cut here. Come on. Now it's curling all the way because I pulled it too much. But I wanted to put this on this. And I need another glue. And I'm uh, just going to use a fabric tech. I mean, that's a fake fabric tech because my glue is inside. But, you know, just going to, I think on the previous one, I use two, um, I use more shimmery um, stockings and I use two strips to actually glue it down. This one, I think I'm just going to use one. And I guess I can cover the whole thing. When it's just the background because it's like a really nice background. And you can make really nice closures with this because it's like really soft and stretchy. And you can put beads on and you can do whatever. Like, you know, we have a lot of stockings. And the last one, I need another one. And I, yeah, I need to use more of this as well because I have a lot of fabric and I just, I, I don't know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna use all of it. Maybe I would need like a group of people that loves 
to junk journal and just love to do stuff. So maybe I could get rid of some, but you know, doesn't look this is gonna happen in this life. Spend your life, great, doing strange things with weird people. And I need to cut this off. Come on, scissors. Um, I'm just going to glue it on, like so. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue stick just to tack it down, and then I'm going to, because it's going to see through, I think, uh, the glue, uh, the fabric thingy. So like this. Even if I would stitch that with my machine, I would uh, tack it down with my glue stick. I do a lot of things with fabric and glue stick and clothing. Mm. Like so, hopefully I'm in frame. Sometimes I don't, I can't tell. Spend your life. If I would have a bigger word, so I, if I would cut them out rectangularly re thingy, I uh, would probably just stitch them down, um, like make an underline or something like that, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is now fixed and it's not going to move. Now, spend your life. Um, I think I kind of want to do it. I don't know. Well, let me let me figure it out. Uh, I just remembered something. Um, what do you say? In the middle? Or something like this? Any suggestions? Oh man, you're chatting really nicely. Um, now that I'm looking in the screen, uh, maybe I could do something like this. Stockings, yay! <laughs> I love those ones that are shimmery. Those are really, really nice. Come on, glue. You can do it. Okay, you go up there and they all look fine, I guess. Just a little bit of patience with this sock. And the last one, something like so. I can still move this one. Yeah. Like a little bit different than usual, you know, with just paper. Um, Maybe I can pull it so it's going to curl more. Yeah. You can see the difference. Oh, where's the camera? You can see the difference. This is more curly. And I like it more curly. Maybe I'll chop this on just a little bit. It's too long. You know, if you have some socks and stockings, just make some 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 cards and 
like this. Another one done. Maybe I could use a, you know, a stamp or something. Um, I think I had some sort of stamps. I have some animals. Oh, a flower. I have a flower. I'll just go with that. Or, she says or. Um... Nothing really calls to me here. Oh, I have a butterfly. What about that? I have some of the stamps that are um, like a wood stamps. I have it in my um, drawer just for times like these. So where do you want to go? Hmm. You know what? I would like to try to use my watercolors to stamp. Hmm. Do we wanna? Do we wanna try that? Oh, you know, why not? I'll just see how that goes. Looks fine to me, right? I'll take a little bit more of that blacky black. And uh, stamp my stamp. Press it down. Who needs inks? We have we have watercolors. Watercolors for everything. <laughs> oh, so cute. Um, so 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 cute. Can I make a word? I don't know. Oh, I had smile. I can use that. I bought a bunch of uh, this kind of small stamps for actual for um, making my uh, what you call it. Post-it stamps because I really wanted to have small numbers, and at that time I uh, took I think two packs, so I have more than just one um, letter and number. Um, I think I'll use more to see if I can stamp this off. Ah, oh, this one is more faint. I'll have to use some ink here. Um, and she's trying to find some ink. Ah, really tiny one. Yeah, you're good. Just like so. I'm going to keep this one as well. Okay. This one is ready. Where are all the rest? Okay. Oh, this was not part of it, but, you know, just small envelope. Um, so the pile is growing. It really does. Um... Let me think. I could make one more thing. I wanted to use this too, right? And maybe I could just find some scraps and collage. Let me put my sock away. <laughs> um, ink. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. So these two away. Um, when I say scraps, this is actually a big bag of of 
I need to put this away. I'll keep you. Come back. Um, come on. You can do it. Okay. So, I'm going to take some of the brown paper. Um, some of the yellow, if I can find it. Like these scraps. Trying to open this bag more. You can actually see. Oh, I have these. These are really nice. Do I have some yellow? I do have some yellow. No. This is some yellow paper. And this is yellow. And I want some yellow. I can do that too. I can take you too. Ah, yellow, yellow. Ooh, flower leaves. Yes, yellow. Okay. You want one green? Sure. Another yellow. Do we have enough? Um, mm, 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 this one. I'll take this. Okay, this is a just a scrap. Ooh. <laughs> This is just a scrap bag. I should stop shuffling in it. Oh my god. <gasps> we have more yellow. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's like everything inside that it's not anywhere else. So basically, um, trash. Um, I'm going to glue this thingy and just, you know. Was that me? Probably. 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 And I'm just gonna glue this down. Hello, Krista. Hi. Welcome. Oh, yeah, she will. She'll be disappointed. I'm pretty sure. I told her I'm uh, going to go live, but I guess she she's busy or something. I, I don't even know what time is there. So probably it's sleepy time. Um... Let me turn you around. You're white on the other side. So, and this glue is so sticky. And I love it. I love it. Uh, just um. <laughs> oh man. Just random strips. Like they're really different um, thicknesses. So this one is a thicker, what, Ikea pamphlet? I don't even know how to call those. Those pamphlets that you get in Ikea where you can write measurements down or stuff like that. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to use this side. Let's see. <laughs> All gluey. Okay, this is like, again, advertisement. Just a block of yellow that, um, I wanted to keep. And I do the same thing with <clears throat> with uh, when I make ruffles and stuff. I use a lot of uh, the magazines and advertisements because they're really, really nice. Oh, I want to keep you. Do you want to go somewhere? Like, oh, come on. Somewhere like here. For the support, and what else? Just gonna put this one here, and I think I I already know um, what I want to do with this one. If and 
yellow on yellow. I'm going to do it here. I love these clouds. I might use this one here. I need to pop something here. Mm, do you want to go there? Ink. My ink. Just playing here, nothing in particular important or, you know, whatnot. Uh, just this one is really gluey, so I think I, um, I can use this spot. Like so. And this, and I think this. Yep. This is the packaging from, uh, uh, some tablets like this so it's just the, the the front the top layer um and this one's gonna go here and do i want to use this green here maybe Like this. Oh. And we have a card. Almost ready. I think I'm going to stitch this one down. Um, Okay, let me cut you up. Oops. Need to take my thingy because it's a uh, So, oh, and here. Now all I'm going to do is just uh, put another paper on the back and, you know, stitch all around. And I think I'm going to stitch um, here um, before I do the back side. Okay, uh, let me stitch it up. I think my machine is still on, you know. And I'll try to do a zigzag or something. Like a smaller one. Sometimes if I have a choice, I will um, glue over the stitching on the other side. Sometimes I, 
you know, I don't bother at all. So it just depends on the project. This one's really cute. And you can stitch all around if you wanted to, but um, I just want to do the back side and uh, um, you know, why not? Why not using this paper rub? all of these images of this food and stuff from 90s um 80s 90s like they're not really interesting the images that they took they're really dark or really you know bad lighting and stuff not yummy looking i would say some are some are really nice um, pictures but some Oh man, on the brown um, background, brown food, it's like, no go. Can't even tell what it is. Um, I wanted to use some white paper on top. Or maybe I could just leave it as it is. And if you really like struggle with having some white pages and stuff, you could always um, just gesso advertisements and you have writing space. Like here, I wanted to use maybe something like this. Or I could just leave it as it is. What about that? Boom. This. the back is plain you could still write on it of course why not and I will just ink this one yeah, it's not like everyday thingy but that's really nice I had a hope my hope my hope where do you want to be I kind of like it here so you still have some space if you want to write or put an image on or something. Let's see. What's wrong with this glue stick? Ugh, glue stick, right? Oh man. I can't remember when was the last time I actually made life. Um, Last year, maybe? I don't know if this year. Hope. Oh, hopefully you can see. If you wanted, like, a different look, you could probably um, go all around of the shapes with black or something, and it would really pop. But I think just with some, you know, these two are really dark and all around and stitching. Um, it looks different. Oh, this side I wanted to make a little bit black. And if I really want to, I can find a doodle. My doodle box. What do you want to have here? Maybe. Oh, it's a bee. Do we have, yeah. I think I'm going to just do that. I love to doodle and, you know, cut it out and uh, have it as a, you know, sticker type thingy. Um, what else do we have here? I usually have um, these um, doodles and 
uh, stamped images together and uh, what are you like an elephant oh this looks really nice too this looks really nice I think I'm just gonna go with an elephant and maybe a bee <laughs> I need to make more of the doodly stuff. I mean, you know, I have a lot, but still, I enjoy making uh, small things and stuff like that. Um, I think this was um, stamped with watercolors. I can feel the raised bits. Um, so I'm pretty sure this could be watercolors or acrylics. I think watercolors. But anyway, let's glue you down. This is like all the... Um, corporation thingy. So um, you can ride um, around it or you can just have this as a nice thingy. So simple and so beautiful. So yeah, you could you could actually ride there if you wanted to. Or not. Ooh. I really love it. So I guess um, yellow is my color now. <laughs> um, I wanted to put this one too, right? Yeah, let's put this little B. Little, little tiny B. Eh, where are you? You're here. So this is my little elephant on a yellow background and my little hope clouds yellow thingy. <laughs> I made a cover, this um, this um, scrapbook paper um, cover for a journal, but I haven't finished yet, so that's that. Oh man, today is, uh, yeah, we have a really nice day outside too. I think this was the last one. I think I'm gonna take myself outside because it's really, really, really nice sunshine. And I do have some work outside to do as well. Um, like right now, I supposed to study, but I'm like, oh no, I wanna do YouTube and I wanna do a live video. So this is what I did. So no studying today. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll try to do more. Uh, tomorrow and uh, you know sometimes you just have to go with the flow if you feel like doing something creating something you have to do it you, you don't you know uh, you shouldn't be like oh no I want to do something else uh, and then suffer through something else so these are all the beautiful things we made together and um, I'm really loving it go away scraps I'm gonna put you in a pile there I uh, just want to lay them out <laughs> for some reason because they're really cute. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy I made this uh, live today. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you were inspired to do some crafting as well. Not just listening to me babble and, uh, you know, glue and stuff. So I hope you did some some crafting as well while watching me. Um Thank you very, very, very much for watching, and uh, I hope you're going to have a really nice uh, week, and happy crafting. Bye!